Hello everybody and welcome back to Ars Trains. My name is Corey and in today's video, well, as you've seen the title and seen the thumbnail, we have a very big unboxing to do in today's video. It's not even Lionel size, it's much bigger than that. Just a day or two ago, it came in via truck. That's how big it is. And yes, you've seen the title, it's in a crate. So... I think without further ado, let's just get right into it because yeah, you guys know me and I think I know you guys. I can't wait. Let's get to it. So before we unbox it, just to get a good look at whatever this thing is, because I mean, I know what it is, but I don't want to tell you guys. That ruins it. We have a huge crate here that is probably about nine feet long by maybe three, two feet wide. So it's a very big little fella. And... It's going to be fun to just unpack this thing in general, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. we got a hammer, a crowbar, a mallet, and a knife right here to get through everything. Again, this is an unboxing like no other, as you can see. This will definitely be a lot of fun, but this will definitely be a, a little bit of work into it too. But luckily, we got a nice good breeze going around today here at the house. It's a little hot, but hey, the wind takes all that heat away. But anyways, folks, let's get into it. Woo! All right, folks, I got my little uh, knife right here, and we're going to cut through this plastic and then take the wood apart from there. So pretty simple, but very wet. It rained the other day, so a lot of water all over the place, but hey, that won't stop us. Shocked it hasn't evaporated yet. All right, as you can now see, we took off the top bits, and it gets, it's getting a little easier to see. It's no locomotive, no Lionel, no HO, nothing like that. This here is a live steam gondola slash riding car. We ordered this little fella a long time ago, way back in March, and like I said earlier, it just came in a few days ago, and it's so great to see how well this thing's finally come out, but we got to get it out of the crate so we can see it even more, and so you guys can see what's on the side. It's no regular black gondola. It's a very nice D&H. Let's get back to it. And there we go. That's a little bit of a better look at our friend D&H15483, this beautiful little gondola right here. Still got to take it out of the crate though, but man, done that look clean. Anyways, you guys got to see what the full thing looks like. It's very nice. And again, this is a very long gondola too. This is seven feet long, so you can easily fit two people in here, a little toolbox and whatever other little accessory you can have while riding behind your locomotive. But anyways, let's, go, let's get the gondola out and then you guys can see it a little bit. Boom, we got it out of the crate. And ain't this the sharpest looking thing you've ever seen? Oh my goodness, that, my friends, is pretty dang nice. Let's get down so we can admire it. That there is a seven foot long Delaware and Hudson gondola, all steel, nice wood bed, beautiful Bettendorf trucks with actual springs, actual suspension, yes, metal couplers, all the details, even a little brake wheel on the back. That's just for decoration, but you guys get the idea. Let's get up a little closer so you guys can see just some of the beautiful detail on this thing. And then a wooden bed too. I'm gonna probably put like a carpet or a mat in there just to protect against like pine needles and stuff like that. I don't want to get the wood all dirty. But oh, look at this. And then you could, there's a little reproduction date, I like it. 5-20-22. Looking underneath here, you guys can kind of get an idea of what the frame looks like. And a better look at the trucks here. Look at those super smooth wheels. Pretty dang neat, if I say so myself. <laughs> and boom, just like that, we got the gondola moved inside, nice in the shed here, away from the weather too, but wow, this thing is totally freaking cool. I do not know how to describe it. 
This is such a great little piece by Titan Trains. I really love it. They did an excellent job putting this car together, and it's very well built. This thing will definitely survive a few dings and what have you, but yeah, the only thing is, though, that this gondola slash riding car is only a gondola slash cut riding car, and you need a locomotive to pull a car around. What fun is it getting a car around? And, well, we have just that in store, but folks... You're going to have to stay tuned for the next video for when we finish painting the locomotive and have her ready to roll around at the club. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next video slash live stream slash whatever I do. So stay tuned for when ours trains number 2018 and comes rolling around the bend at some time in the near future but yeah it'll be pulling this riding car and a little caboose right behind it so that'll be a lot of fun i will see you all again in the next video so i assume that's whatever i do so stay tuned folks Bye bye